Today in this video, we're going to explore the River West neighborhood in Bend, Oregon. And if you stick around to the end, we're going to show you some houses, we're going to show you some of the coolest restaurants, and we're going to show you some of the things that only locals know about River West. So you definitely don't want to miss that. And we're going to get after it right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about eating, sleeping, working, playing, and living in Bend, Oregon, then go ahead and tap that subscribe button below, hit the bell for notifications, and we'll make sure to keep you up to date on all the current happenings in and around Bend, Oregon. My name is Joshua Grossman. I'm the leader of the Lifestyle and Bend team at EXP Realty. And we get calls, texts, emails, and Zoom requests every day from people like you, 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 and you looking to make their move to Bend, Oregon, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, go ahead, pick up that phone, give us a call, shoot us a text message, send us an email, or even sign up for a free Zoom consultation, and we'll go to work on making your move to Bend as smooth as possible. So as I mentioned before, let's jump into this full tour of River West. So right behind me is a little dock that you can launch off and go on your paddleboard and kind of go out in the Deschutes River back. Across the area, that's actually Old Bend. Um, that's where downtown is at. But many people consider that River West is just a continuation of Old Bend because a lot of the same style houses and everything. Um, Old Bend is just where the actual downtown is at. Um, but as you can see off in the distance, you know, the Deschutes River is right here. This is a great place to paddleboard and uh, you know, just generally hang out. Um, <clears throat> the little neighborhoods that are around here are absolutely adorable. Let's go check out and see what some of the houses look like. So I often get asked, what's the hype about River West? What's the hype about the West Side of Bend? This house right behind us, five bedrooms, five baths, 3,500 square feet, right on the river, $3.35 million. So that's, that's what the hype is about right there. Like if you want to live in the river, if you want to live walkable to everything, if you want to have an amazing house right, uh, right here in the heart of it, that's what it costs. So uh, let's go take a look at some of the other houses in this super cool neighborhood right off of Harmon and Columbia that border the river. So these are houses right on Harmon Boulevard and we're about ready to pull on to Columbia. What you're not seeing is all of these houses that will be well over a million dollars on the other side border right to the river. So if you want to live in Bend, Oregon and you want to live in the river, uh, on the river, you are going to have to pay a lot of money to do so and you're most likely going to have to fix up your house or remodel it to boot. Some of them have already been done, but even a house on the river that needs to be remodeled, like that one right there, are going to be worth a lot of money. So let's take a tour and see what some of these houses look like. All right, as with virtually every spot in Bend, River West has a ton of parks. This is one of them called Columbia Park. You can see behind us, uh, you know, it's got a nice big open space. Um, but locals know this park as the Pirate Park. And uh, I'm gonna go show you why right now. Right here behind us is why they call it the Pirate Park. So this is a great place to bring the kids to play. It's right directly on the river and they have a super cool little pirate ship built right there for the kiddos. Let's take down this little path and we can actually go right down to the river and you could connect to part of the Deschutes River Trail and uh, take a little hike while you're here.
So here's the other side of the houses on Hartman slash Columbia Road. And that right there is why people are paying millions of dollars to live here. So what do you think? Leave it in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Would you pay $3 million to live on the river in Bend, Oregon? Maybe not, maybe so. Uh, either way, it is a very, very cool spot and people absolutely love it here. All right, so this is a cool little place behind us. Three bedroom, three bath, also has an ADU. A couple blocks away from the Deschutes River, uh, but recently sold for a little bit over a million dollars. Um, so it's been remodeled, it's pretty nice, but what do you think? You know, like, you know, this is the neighborhood. It's literally right across the street from Stand on Lookwood and Good Life Brewing. That might be a good thing, right? It's walkable to everything. Uh, so, three bedrooms, three baths, a little bit over a million dollars. The river is a couple blocks away, walkable to the brewery and some cool little shops. What do you think? Would you pay that much for this house? Leave it in the comments below. Let's go see what the neighborhood looks like. So we're a couple blocks away from the river. You'll see mostly, you know, earliest, early 20th century bungalows, craftsman style homes. Uh, but then you come across that, which is ultra modern. And that was built up from that right there. That's what you're gonna find in River Rest. A lot of old homes, a lot of old homes that have been remodeled. And ADU has become a huge, huge popular thing. And if you're lucky enough to get a short term rental, in one of these areas you can make quite a bit of money um, people are making you know three four five thousand dollars a month even more for having these houses available to be rented as a short-term rental so river west near the river just a pretty cool little area and completely walkable to all that bend has to offer Let's go see what's next. All right, we're right here on Galveston and right behind us here. That's called Priya Grill. Uh, and uh, if you're from Bend, you know that Priya has the most amazing fish tacos that you've ever eaten. And if you're not from Bend, you need to stop at the Priya Grill and get some fish tacos. Galveston is a pretty cool street. Um, it's lined with cute little shops, uh, nice restaurants, breweries. Uh, and all of that sort of thing. So let's take a little tour down Galveston, see what it has to offer. Okay, right here behind us is the Victorian Cafe. Um, Victorian Cafe has such an amazing breakfast and, uh, and lunch, and it also has a full bar. But if you wanna eat at the Victorian Cafe, you absolutely have to expect a wait. It's busy every day, all year long, during 65 days a year. But if you're in Bend and you have some time, then I would absolutely stop at the Victorian Cafe. So Galveston is, uh, you know, is just a road in, in River West and Bend, but it's like the other downtown. So it's not like Old Bend, where you have Wall and Bond and all of those kind of shops. Uh, but this is the major shopping area of River West. And these are almost exclusively small hometown shops, you know, restaurants, and uh, and bars that you can uh, hang out so let's uh, walk down galveston kind of show you the general, general vibe of this area because it's absolutely a super cool place One of the biggest draws to the River West neighborhood is being walkable to all this. So what do you think? Is that something you would like to do, to be walkable to all this? Ida's Cupcakes. We don't do birthday cakes anymore. We only do Ida's Cupcakes because they're absolutely amazing. So if you're in Bend, River West, you gotta grab an Ida's Cupcake. And right here, Ariana Restaurant, you better get a reservation because it's always busy but really really good food and uh, you know if you have time want to make a reservation that's a great place to stop one of my favorite places right here is el sancho taco shop you know it's a little taco bar and look how busy it is 
Saturday afternoon, but uh, you know, it's packed. It's always like that. And uh, they have absolutely amazing food. So El Sancho Taco Shop off Galveston, great place to grab something to eat. Little produce stand here, little farmer's market type of thing, um, you know, but it's open all the time. So come get your uh, organic fresh fruits and veggies right there. Brother John's Public House, a little brewery. Like I said, uh, we have no shortage of breweries in Bend. Last check, we're like the uh, craft brew capital of, of the entire world. So uh, we got a lot of beer to drink here. So uh, come to Bend and uh, help us drink some beer. There's a house right off Galveston. Hey, you want to live right off Galveston? Well, the house isn't for sale, but if it was, it would be worth so much money. I have no idea. You know, it'd be well, well over a million dollars. Little coffee shop right here. Canoe Cafe. We have a ton of coffee shops. We have all the name brand ones, and then we have a bunch of individual one-offs too, which is where most people like to go. Um, you know, obviously we have Starbucks and Dutch Brothers, uh, but we have little places like Kanoa. And it's definitely something you should check out if you're a coffee fan. Tin Barrel Brewing, one of the other local craft breweries in town. People outside enjoying the bend weather. These little bird bikes, you can rent an electric bike and uh, you know, kind of just travel in and around Bend. Kind of a cool little feature. Some of the locals might not like it. I'm not too much of a fan. Another little coffee shop across the street called Boss Rambler. It's one of the newer ones in town that actually used to be a surf shop or like a snowboard shop. Little hair salon right there, creative hair graphics. Little food cart right there. And big old bagels. They have amazing breakfast sandwiches, amazing bagels. They're open seven to two, but if you get here too, they're gonna be out of most everything. Sun River Brewing across the street there. Once again, just like, you know, another local, uh, local brewery. What's, what neighborhood's not, uh, not at home without a 7-Eleven? The 7-Eleven's been here for a really long time though. Hutch's Bicycle Shop there, one of the popular biking stores in and around uh, Bend, Oregon in the River West area. We had a ton of bike shops. If you're looking to buy a mountain bike, no better place anywhere than to get it in Bend, Oregon because we have all the bike shops. That used to be a gas station. It's being rebuilt into some more commercial space, commercial and residential looks like. Then kind of an, a bend icon right there, established in 1934, the West Side Tavern. You know, so give you a little shot of uh, what you can do on Galveston Street and why people are willing to pay three and a half million dollars to live walkable and on the river in River West. All right, one more reason to live in River West. Uh, this little park kind of a local favorite, kind of off the beaten path, and not a lot of people know about it. I mean, more people than used to, because it used to be really, really kind of private. It's First Street Rapids Park. Um, it's a cool location. It's very, very central to River West, and it's got direct access to the Deschutes River Trail. So let's go check it out. So how many places can you get out of your house? Drive like three minutes, maybe less. Walk to it if you want to, and experience this. Right off in the background here, you know, look, there's people swimming, people learning how to kayak and paddle and ride across the street. That's the Deschutes River Trail. And then up there, 
all of those houses, those are the big dollar houses that border the river. So First Street Rapids in the River West neighborhood is absolutely an amazing place to call home. Let's go explore the river trail a little bit. So right off the uh, entrance to the First Street Rapids is the Deschutes River Trail. And uh, this trail is pretty awesome. It's like, it's right by the Deschutes River uh, and it's fairly flat. Um, so you can come here and you can hike, you can uh, walk your dogs, you can run, ride your bike, you can do just a ton of things. Um, I've used this trail many, many times over the years to you know just get out and take a break and take in some nature. Um, and it's just a really, really cool place to do that. So as you can see right across the, right across the way, you have people swimming over there. Learning how to kayak all in the beautiful Deschutes River. So there's a look at First Street Rapid Park. Let's go see what's next. All right, so this little house behind us, it's two bedrooms, one bath, about 1,100 square feet, sold in the mid five. Why would you pay uh, $565,000 for a two bedroom, one bath in Northwest Bend? Well, the answer to that is actually right next door. So that house right there, we built on the same size lot. They just tore the house down and built a new one, right? So now they have a well over worth a million dollar home that they created and they're close to everything that Ben has to offer. So they're walkable and they're bikeable to the river, to Galveston, to all the little restaurants and shops. And it's just a super, super desired area. So let's go take a look at the neighborhood. I think one of the coolest things about the River West neighborhood is the super eclectic and different style. You have little houses like that and then big massive houses and people just are able to create their own spin on what they want to call home. Uh, so if that is you and you have $500,000 or up to $4 million to uh, you know build or make your dream home, River West might absolutely be the place for you. So here we are at uh, Central Oregon Community College, and uh, this is actually in River West, kind of on the uh, outer parts of it, but what a better place to go to school, um, start your school career off. It's cheaper, it's closer to home. Kids absolutely love it. It's got a great campus. Um, so yeah, Central Oregon Community College in River West. Let's go check out the campus. Just something about going to school in Central Oregon. A lot of kids take advantage of the uh, community college here. You know, it's close to home. It's pretty affordable. And uh, you know, who doesn't like a campus that looks like this? All right, so how lucky are we? We're uh, touring the campus and there is an amazing festival going on today. You know, Central Oregon is kind of famous for these festivals. We have winter, fall, summer, spring, pride. Like, we have a festival for a lot of things. So, whatever you're into, Central Oregon guarantee has a festival for it. And uh, this one happens to be going on today at the uh, Central Oregon Community College campus right in River West. Let's see what's next. All right, one of the final stops on this tour for everybody is going to be a place called The Lot. Uh, it's a little food cart in River West right off of Galveston and the lot is super unique um, I mean it's like most food carts but it's got its own little uh, <clears throat> brew dispensary right inside it's got tacos it's got uh, a la carte which is more Mexican food it's got some of the best burgers you'll ever have right there at uh, Bend Burgers and Dogs and then it's also got a sushi cart too. Um, 
the lot is a very very popular location and it is usually very busy but if you're in bend and you want to hit up one of the local scenes of local food carts you got to check out the lot all right right behind us is pageant park uh, why is pageant park cool well first of all it's next to Harmon park and in Harmon park uh, every year fourth of july they land a helicopter in that field let the kids see the local emergency helicopter they do a lot of events there not just that park but pageant park also shares this amazing green space well, that amazing house right there, which is not owned by uh, the city, it's actually owned by a private person. So, you know, it's also directly across the bridge from Drake Park, and that is in the Old Bend District. So, River, River West and Old Bend, very, very similar feeling, two different areas, but they are both connected by this cool little spot and the river that they share. Just one's on the east side and one's on the west side. Uh, so, one more reason. Uh, you might want to call River West your home. You can come in, launch right from that dock right into the river, see the cool ducks, uh, the, the geese rather, in the background. They're here every year and you know it's just a super super cool place. Uh, so general vibe of this area is uh, you know what you see in the background and uh, right here at Pageant Park is no difference and uh, that super super cool house in the back is uh, is actually someone's residence so someone's lucky enough to live there we'll see what's next so that pretty much wraps up our video of a tour of river west in bend oregon we showed you a 3.3 million dollar house we showed you a house that was a little bit over a million dollars and then we showed you a fixer upper in the mid fives that you could turn into a house that was well over a million dollars we showed you some of the cooler parks, some of the cooler places to hang out. We showed you some of the coolest places to eat in the food cart and the community college. You know, that is not all that River West has to offer. There are several uh, neighborhoods, Aubrey Butte, Miller Heights, West Hills, but the list goes on. There's a ton of stuff to do in this area. So if you're planning to move to Bend, Oregon, and you are looking to be in River West, if you want to be walkable to everything, if you want to have the river in your backyard, if you want to see those cool ducks every year, uh, you know, like, look us up. All of our information is in the description below, and we will absolutely make your move to Bend as smooth as possible. But until then, we absolutely hope we see you around town.